Hello, and welcome to my Fault Milestone 2 gameplay. It's finally here, guys. It's finally here. I've waited all summer for this game. But, I will give you a warning beforehand. This game continues off straight after Fault Milestone 1. So if you do not want to know what happened at the end of the previous game, which is amazing, you should go and have a look at it. Please stop watching and go and play that game first and then come back here. I'll give you uh, five seconds to leave safely without being spoiled. Okay, let's start this game. I am so hyped! Ooh, that's a new engine. Didn't you hear me, Rain Basta? I'll put it on also. Restrain her immediately with that magic of yours. Magic? You know, the kind I used to slaughter that tribe before. Don't tell me you've forgotten. Ah. Magic, the old name for mana craft. Don't tell me. Start with the right leg. Sever it, but don't kill her. I'll stop the bleeding. Don't hold back. That's not the issue here. This land is devoid of mana. If I use a batter craft of that level, my... I'll stop the bleeding. Don't hold back. I'm terribly sorry, Selfie, but using such battlecraft in this situation is... That's princess to you. Selfie grumbles. Eh? I told you to address me as princess, you imbecile. What? Who am I? Tell me, who am I? Who? I am the ninth passed down successor of the glorious kingdom of Rusenhide, Princess Selfine Rusenhide. Don't tell me. And Rainvasta, who are you? Mom? The Royal Guardian of Princess Rusenhide, ma'am. With Valor absent, I'm the very will of Rusenhide, and you. You are the sword and shield that will carry it out. For you to cower in fear in the presence of an enemy. Such insolence. Know your place. Ma'am. Those symptoms indicate a disturbance in manner. Emperor Syndrome. This is the first time I've seen the predecessor's personality show this distinctively. Oh wait, she's a girl, so would Emperor Syndrome be more fitting? Damn. For her to display signs of Emperor Syndrome at a time like this. 
and that tone of voice, that personality, this is unmistakably Lady Regan. Dubbed Regan the Bloodthirsty by the citizens, she was the cruelest, most ruthless queen in all of Rosenhide history among the nine generations of the path down. The, th the timing couldn't be any worse. You may want to reconsider this overly friendly approach of yours, Herr huh? Rain Vasta. My apologies, Princess. <laughs> if you want this, if what this girl is saying is true, though, that perhaps you should call me Queen instead. Something weird is happening to Sally. It really does change the person, eh? A truly fascinating phenomenon. Zevitz's girl, stop dawdling around and stand his attention, why don't you? You... Who are you and what have you done with Sally? Now, Melano, was it? Let's get down to business. Did you really kill Valar? Hmm? Ha ha ha, don't be silly, of course, I was kidding. I said that because you wouldn't listen to me otherwise. It was just a little joke. Is that so? Then one final question. What do you people want? Why did you attack Rosenhide? My, it looks like she's got the upper hand here. Typical of someone older, I can't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> Answer truthfully. If you do, your death will be quick and painless. You had the word of a Rosenhide. Of rugs and hide. Ha ha ha, well, aren't you scary? Our objective, huh? Well, basically, it's to kill you, Princess Selphane. Okay, well, technically, we don't have to kill you. But really, is there any other way to put a stop to a country's ability to path down? I see. Yeah, so I've got a little proposition for you, Princess. Could you, you know, just not go back to your country ever again? Huh? If you don't, then at least you would you won't have to die. Abandon your country, go somewhere far away from the Alliance and live for the rest of your lives hiding your true identities. Well, I think it's a pretty good idea. Why you, we would never accept such a... Ha 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 ha, another one of your jokes. If we did that, then we would simply go after the next successor, would you not? I believe that's called hypocrisy. Good point. You're already too deeply rooted in that system you call an alliance. There isn't any point in living if you aren't part of it, right? Again, you beat around the bush. Moving on, what's wrong? Aren't you going to come at me? From the very beginning, this couldn't end in anything but bloodshed. That's true. This whole time. Then, it's about time we put an end to this farce. This whole time I've been gathering mana. This is the third time now. Rain Vasta, off with her right leg. Just at this very moment. Shh. Lady Selfie's long-winded speech was nothing more than stalling for time. For me to let this chance slip by would be sullying the name of the princess. Do it. Damn, looks like I don't have a choice. The final synergy of mana, aqua, arrow, manifest outside of my body. Thump. I heard a dull sound as if my nerves were ripped right out of me. The moment I felt a burning sensation, I was suddenly engulfed in a bone-chilling cold. My body goes numb. I can feel the hazy concept that is my own lifespan growing shorter. This is seriously rough. Activating this craft is in an area filled with mana is already taxing enough, especially something of this level. Impressive, this girl. Being able to synergize this well with only her internal mana. Oh? 
Perhaps realising something was off, Melano quickly shifted her gaze to her right thigh. You notice too late. The fragments have already gathered. Magnetised fragments of obsidian tightly bound to her right knee. Glass shower. Heavy rain. The next moment, Relano dashed away. What? No, that's just ridiculous. Is this a dream? At a speed which I could barely perceive, Melano evaded the hail of shards. She's... not... human. Heavy rain may seem complex, but blessing it is actually quite simple. Transidian shards are created from mana in the committed area, which are then used as a hail of blades. I can control the shards created with my mana, or use magnetized obsidian to consecrate the hail of shards onto a single target. There was no other choice but for me to use this, a merciless inhuman craft I developed solely for the slaughter of humans. Oh my, I can't avoid this, can I? What the? In a split second, Melano disappeared completely, avoiding the rain of shards, leaving nothing but an afterimage. She's gone, where did she go? What just happened? I wanna know that. Ritona, behind you, above you! Rune was able to track her. She's all the way up there. How did you? However, no matter where you run, heavy rain shards will continue to be drawn towards the magnetic obsidian. There is no escape. I've got you. I can't bear to watch. Permission revoked. What the hell? Eh? Oh my. You really could turn someone into a fine red mist with this last rain of yours. What? The shards. The shards aren't piercing her. The hail of shards that had been flying towards Molino had become embedded in the obsidian by her leg and knee, frozen in place. Those shards could have pierced right through the obsidian, turning her leg into mincemeat. Not even a tear on her clothes. What is going on? Did I make a mistake by my craft? No, no, no. That can't be. The shards that chased after Melano had clearly turned the trees around her into sieves. So then why? Just what happened? Princess Sophine. I can now see where you stand in all this. You could apprehend or just outright kill me, and by doing so you could stop our attacks against San Ajrizda. And on top of that you could bring back the head of the mastermind behind the night raid on your country. Two birds with one stone, right? But know this. I am already beyond the level of winning or losing. So when you fight me, you're better off accepting the fact that you have no say in the matter. Because I am omnipotent. Omnipotent? Does a person like that ever e even exist? I've had nothing but pointless blather from you. Get to the point. Is talking all you can do? Yes, well, I suppose you'd understand sooner if you'd had if you died once. What the shit? Did my game just crash? No. No, my game can't have crashed.
No, no. What? What on earth happened? Un undo? Okay. There won't be an undo next time though. Got it? Wait, 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 wait. The game just auto-closed. That's amazing. I've never seen that happen in a game. My experience tells me that there was a blinding light, light for just a moment. We were mowed down by hellfire so hot that there were no words to describe it. We died. Lady Selphine, Rune and I. Hertzman, Albus and Rudo. Everyone in Cadia City, everyone in the Outer Pole, was completely erased on this planet. Tens of thousands of people, gone in an instant. But not only that, we retained memories of some sort. From after our passing. What just? The explosion Melano caused completely obliterated the entire outer pole. As if time stood still, those hit by the aftershock of the explosion stood, stood there, motionless, as if waiting for death. The lightly clothed were instant instantaneously incinerated. Skin burned clean off, turned into pink human-shaped lumps of flesh. Those who barely survived, unable to think clearly, instinctively ran for water to suit the horrible burns they sustained. However, they were unable to control their bodies freely in the water, resulting in most of them drowning. Oh, the skies were dyed jet black, with onyx flames raining down onto the ground. Survivors who were still self-aware tried to escape the inferno, only to be consumed by the flames. Their entire bodies melted away. As if they had never existed in the first place. The first wave of victims totaled 84,089. About three years after the calamity, there was a second wave of victims. A belt shaped veil of poisonous mana emanated from the epicenter of the explosion, making its way to the regions surrounding the outer pole. People who had prolonged exposure to the mana experienced inflamed skin slowly losing function of their vital organs until they finally died. This second wave of, this second wave of victims from the surrounding area totaled another 78,912. Using craft, a single human ended the lives of about 150,000 people. Annihilation. What other word could be used to describe it? How do we know all this? I could clearly remember the statistics of every death down to the last digit. Not just that, but the overhead view of the explosion that ended my own life was seared into my mind. Along with what happened years after that fact, I could see the people, the second victims of Melano's explosion, suffering and ultimately succumbing to the poisonous manner. Those are actual memories. The truth is, you and your friends did die, and the rest of the, those memories of yours were directly implanted by me. Preposterous. Utter nonsense, but I could see the people, the secondary victims of Melano's explosion, and ultimately succumbing to the poisonous manner. If this woman is capable of using mana to unleash such an explosion, then Rosen hide. The entire world might not even be able to stand against her. No, 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 send any form of resistance. Any resistance would be futile. This is ridiculous. Just everything about it is. Are you death personified? Do air machina, like some hands of God near the ends of a story, shoehorning in some form of closure. Is that what this woman is? Jew and Mashina.
Just what language is this from? Latin. Truly. Truly a strange, illusionary magic. <laughs> you of all people should know that this was not an illusion. You have only two choices, understand? Don't return to your country and live. Or return to your country and be killed by us. She tore open a hole in the middle of the air. No matter which you choose. Let's enjoy whatever happens, okay? Where on earth did they get black holes from? Welcome back. Haha, -ha, I'm back. Gee, that sure was fun. Sis, it looked fun. Wrong time, no see. It's long time, no see. <laughs> Wrong time, no see. <laughs> Please don't pout like that. Amazing, Sian. I did exactly as you said, and I was able to recreate the riptide effect. I'm pretty sure opening a rift in space-time is a whole lot more amazing, though. And why the flashy exit? Oh yes, well I just thought I needed to make it look really cool and dramatic. So what happened? What did they say? Hmm, I don't know. You don't know? Is there anything in this world that you don't know? Well, there isn't a lot, but I'm pretty unsure about them. But they'll probably come back, I think. Are they stupid? You tell them outright that we'd just kill them if they came back, and they're still planning on returning just to die? Yeah, I think so. I'm sure it's already penetrated deeply into them. In their memory manner. Hey, what do you think? Are you asking me? What was that just now? Just some sort of craft? Princess? Princess, are you alright? Princess! Princess! Fiend. Selfine. Call me Selfine. Selfine. Ah, uh, is that so? My apologies, Selfine. Uh, it's alright, we're safe now. Uh, Ritona. We're safe. And I made you use it. I made you use heavy rain. What have I done? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry, Ratona. I didn't I didn't mean to say those things. Oh wow, her eyes. Are you okay? So, I mean your majesty. No need to call her that. Eh? Please, call her by name. Okay, so, Sally, how are you doing? Uh, she'll lose consciousness soon. Eh? Wait? Isn't that bad? We need to find her a place to rest. Rune? Eh, I mean, uh, yeah? Selfin and I are on the brink of death right now. <laughs> what? One mistake and both our lives are likely forfeit. We need to leave the outer pole as quickly as possible for some place abundant of mana. I'll carry Selfin. Can I count on you to watch our backs? Of course, leave it to me. And with that, I am going to stop this video there. Thank you very much for watching the first episode of my Fault Milestone 2 gameplay. If you like this sort of thing and want to continue watching, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.